As you might have noticed, our Cantor is not with us this week, but we welcome, of course, our congregant Sky Monroe, our, our board member, Sky Monroe, who, who will be leading services with us. Let us, uh, let's welcome each other, turn to the people around you, wish them a Shabbat Shalom. If you're online, please say hi in the chat. Let us, let us bring in Shabbat with light. We are, of course, B'nai Or, the children of light. It's our honor to call up Alan, who has returned from a long journey to Okin... From, you went to Okinawa, right? Right. So we welcome her back, and we turn to page two for the lighting of our candles. Oh, hear our prayer we sing to you. Be great. And bless them with goodness and mercy and peace. Oh, hear our prayer to you. Let us light these lights and see the way to you. And let us say Amen. Let us light these lights. And see the way to you, and let us say Amen. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Asher Kedushanu BeMitzvotav. Vetsivonu lehad likner, lehad likner, shel shabbat. A special prayer for Veterans Day. Written by Alden Solovey, God of compassion, God of dignity and strength, watch over the veterans of the United States in recognition of their loyal service to our nation. Bless them with wholeness and love, shelter them, heal their wounds, comfort their hearts, grant them peace. God of justice and truth, rock of our lives, bless our veterans, these men and women of courage and valor, with a deep and abiding understanding of our prof profound gratitude. Protect them and their families from loneliness and want. Grant them lives of joy and bounty. May their dedication and honor be remembered as a blessing from generation to generation. Blessed are you, protector and redeemer, our shield and our stronghold. We say, Amen. Amen. Let us turn in our Sidur to page 20. So we're going to do for Lechadodi verses 1 and 9, and right before verse 9, we'll rise and turn towards the entryway. Lechadodi, likrat kala, pene shabbat nekabela. Lecha dodi, likrat kala, pene shabbat nekabela. Shamor vezohor, bedi borechad, hish meanu el hamu. Adonai Echad Ushemo Echad Shemu Tiferet Vehid Hila Lecha Dodi Likrat Kala Pene Shabbat Nekabela Lecha Dodi Likrat 
Shabbat Kala, Pene Shabbat Nekabela. Moi be shalom, ateret ba'ala, gam be simcha uvtohala. Toch emune, am segula, bo'i chala, bo'i chala. Shabbat nekabela Lecha dodi Likrat kala Pene Shabbat nekabela Chatzi Kaddish is on page 26. Yitgadal v'yitgadash me'i rabba V'almad yivrach yute v'yamlich malchute B'chaye chonu v'yom e'chonu U'v'chaye d'cho b'et Yisrael B'agala, b'agala U'v'izman kari v'imeru Amen Yehesh me'i rabba m'varach Ve'olam olamei almaya Yidvarach, yidvarach v'yishtabach Yidvar v'yitromam v'yitnaseh V'yitadar v'yitalev v'yitalal Shemedu kudusha v'richu Le'ela min kol berchata v'shirata Tush berchata v'nechemata Damiran v'alma v'imeru Amen. Page 28. on page 31. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, from whom the evening flows. Your wisdom sets the way on which time and season glide. Your breath guides the sail of stars, creator of tide of time and light. You guide the current of day into night. As heaven spans to infinity, you set its course for eternity. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, from whom the evening flows. El Kayam. Tamin gim lo chalinu le'olam ba'ed Baruch ata Adonai Amari v'aravim Page 32 Together, everlasting love you offered your people Israel by teaching us Torah and mitzvot, laws and precepts. Therefore, Adonai, our God, when we lie down and when we rise up, we will meditate on your laws and your commandments. 
we will rejoice in your Torah forever. Day and night we will reflect on them, for they are our life, and doing them lengthens our days. Never remove your love from us. Praise to you, Adonai, who loves your people Israel. Baruch Ata Adonai, Kohev Amo Yisrael, Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Baruch Hashem, by violence and pain, a world far from wholeness and peace. Give us the courage to say, Adonai, there is one God in heaven and earth. The high heavens declare your glory. May earth reveal your justice and love. From bondage in Egypt we were delivered. At Sinai we bound ourselves to your way. Inspired by prophets and instructed by sages, time and again we overcame oppressive forces. Though our failings are many and our faults are great, it has been our glory to bear witness to our God, keeping alive in dark ages your vision of a world redeemed. Let us continue to work for the day when the nations will be one and at peace. Then shall we rejoice as Israel did, singing on the shores of the sea. <laughs> Ya la 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 Mi kamo ha ba mi kamo ha Norate hilo to se fele Norate hilo to se fele Malehu te kharo uvanecha Poke ayam libne moshe Adonai imloch le'olam va'et Adonai imloch le'olam va'et V'ne'emar kifad Adonai et Yaakov Ga'olam yach chazak mimenu Baruch ata Adonai ga'al Yisrael Page 42. So as much as the Micha Mocha is very celebratory about strength, the Hashki Vinu is a time to go a little more inward, a little more quiet, it's a little darker, thinking of maybe, even though it's not specifically a healing prayer, but 
thinking of that healing that we need in our hearts. And my daughter's helping. Blessed are you, Adonai, guardian of Israel, whose shelter of peace is spread over us, over all your people Israel, and over Jerusalem. Baruch ata Adonai, haporez sukat shalom aleinu, ve'al ko amo Yisrael ve'al Yerushalayim. Page 44. Ve'shamru v'nei Yisrael et ha-shabbat. La asot et ha shabbat le doratom berit o lam ve shamru vene Israel et ha shabbat la asot et ha shabbat le doratom berit o lam vene 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 Israel. Israel Oti Le Olam Ve Shamru Vene Israel Et Hashabat La Asad Et Hashabat Le Doratom Berit Olam Ki Sheshet Yamim Asa Adonai Asa Adonai Et Hashemayim Ve et ha aret ve shamru ve ne Israel et ha shabbat la asot et ha shabbat le doratom berit olam va yom ha shvi shavat ve inafash shavat ve inafash shavat. Vaina fash ve shamru ve ne Israel et ha shabbat la asot et ha shabbat le doratom berit olam. Before we come to the Amidah, the Var Torah about this week's Torah portion, Paye Sarah, we meet Rivka, we meet. Rebecca, our, our second matriarch. But this Torah portion, I, I learned from listening to a, a Devar Torah on a podcast by uh, Rabbi David Kasher in Los Angeles, that this Torah portion mentions camels more than any other part of the Torah. So here's a Hebrew quiz. How do you say camel in Hebrew? Ruchim ah. Abayim. Gamal is a camel. Okay? Now, there's another word in Hebrew that uses the same letters. It's probably not the, it's, you know, false cognate probably, if you know what a false cognate means, but it's the same, same letters or a, a homophone. Isn't that when it's the same letters, but it's, uh, or the same, spelled the same, but it means diff something different, or maybe I'm saying the word homophone. Yes. Yeah. 
Sign, right, but this is spelled the same, but means something different. But anyways, what is the, the root gimel mem lamed? Right, the letter gimel, right, there you go. But what gimel, that might have to do with camel, actually, but that's another story. But gimel mem lamed, where do we hear it? There's a phrase we say, gimilut hasadim. What does gimilut hasadim mean? Loving, but it's a, a, an outpouring of loving kindness, a giving of loving kindness. Chasadim, chesed means loving kindness. Gimilut means the giving of chesed. So we learn about Rivka, who is this paradigm of chesed, of loving, of, of grace and giving and love. We first learn about her because she's kind to, in the Torah portion, a stranger and his camels. Right? So it's a word play that the, the Torah is doing there. But we know, we, we find that she's a, the, a suitable suitor for, for Yitzchak, for Abraham and Sarah's son, Isaac, because of how she treats a stranger and treats the camels. Right? So we'll see that here. Page 48, the opening prayer of the Amidah, where we mention our ancestors, including Rivka here, but you see that God is the one who gomel chasadim, right? Gives chesed. Just like we learn from our ancestors. Our ancestors embody the same things that, that God embodies, God exemplifies for us, including in the next blessing, Matir Asurim, the one who frees the captives. So let's turn to page 46 for the Amidah. We'll begin together. We'll continue privately. Of course, you can pray the words of our ancestors, which are on the even number pages. You can pray the translations or the contemporary prayers that are on the odd number pages. Of course, the words of our heart. We begin on page 46, and then we'll continue through page 62. And when you're finished with your prayers, you may be seated. Please rise. Tavor Rale Elohim Ruach Nahon Chadesh Bikirbi Al Tashlichen Nimil Fanecha Ruach Kotchecha Al Tikach Mimeni Al Fanecha, <laughs>
Shalom Aleinu Ose Shalom Nim Roma Huya Se Shalom Huya Se Shalom Aleinu Ya Se Shalom Aleinu We pray for our loved ones who are in need of healing, refuat nefesh, refuat haguf, a healing of body, a healing of spirit. This Shabbat, we are praying for Larry Baum, Lindsey Baum, Alan Benjamin, Larry Benson, Margot Blaustein, Eric Blyer, Roxanne Brandt, Cecily Bick, Julie Sino, Eve Cohen, Alan Goldstein, Harriet Goldstein, Douglas Greenfield, Lindsay Herbst, Paige Holt, Oliver Horn, Linda Eidelberg, Lawrence Keefe, Deborah Littman, Gail Lobel, Joseph Lupkin, Allison Margulis, Reese Osmond, Cantor Judith Borden Ovadia, Donna Paris, Eileen Reinfleisch, Sue Rosenthal, Scott Sains, Deanie Schlosser, Pearl Schlossman, Lisa Saror, Anita Switinski, Rosalind Tur Terzi, Marjorie Van Dow, Theodore George Weinbaum, Edie Weinstein, Lisa Weinstein, Lisa Wolper, Izzy Agoda, and Chris Zingon. And if you're online, you're praying for someone, you, you could put their name in the chat. And if you're thinking of someone, you could say their name as I go around. Online. Online, we have A.G. Reed Sr. and Pat Moon. Nishberach Avotenu Abraham Yitzchak Ve'yakov Zara Rivka Rachel and Leah, 
Yeah, we now pray. Sorry. <laughs> we now pray for those in in our extended community who are soldiers in the IDF. Aviv Zor, Uri Rom, Shaked Zor, Eyal Chaim Zohar, Maot Zor, Zik Ben Esther, Tomer Bon, Abraham Shmar Yahu Ben Yafa, Itai Lubaton, Yuval Naor, Michael Chaim. Nitsan Donsky, Sa'ar Sontag, Lior Ben Sara, Liad Ben Sara, Dor Yosef Bengal, Raviv Lavid, Shira Feinberg, Metal Feinberg, Noam On, Yali Gam Liel, Lotem Golani, May Analik, Jeremy Tillinger, and prayers for the captives in our community, Oren Holden. We, ha we have a, a few more on the, on the list. Uh, Amina Dor Bloom, Gabriel Bloom, Eviatar Bloom, and someone put one in the chat, someone in the chat, Lital Isachar. We, we also pray, we pray for our soldiers and we also pray for those, our captives, including Oren Holding. But the last few weeks I've been reading the story of, of captives. This week I went to read, read about Amit Susana, who was home sick with a fever on October 7th in her apartment at Kibbutz Kfar Aza. She was texting with her family while the kibbutz was being attacked. She said, they're attacking the kibbutz. They're outside my window. It's scary. It doesn't seem real. Where's the army? The last thing she wrote before being captured was, my battery is about to run out. And that was at 10.07 a.m. And so we pray for all the captives, like Amit Susana. May the one, her Misha Berach Avotein Avraham Yitzchak Yaakov, Sarah Rivka Rachel Valea. May the one who blessed our ancestors, Avraham Yitzchak and Yaakov, Sarah, Rivka, Rachel, and Leah bless the soldiers of Israel's defense forces who stand guard over the land from the north, from the Lebanese border to the south, the Egyptian desert, from the Mediterranean Sea to the Arava, and wherever else they are on land and air and at sea. Help the soldiers return those who are missing and in captivity as we all pray for them. May the Holy Blessed One have compassion on them and bring them out from the darkness and the shadow of death. May God break their bonds, deliver them from their distress, and bring them swiftly back to their family's embrace. May this verse from the prophet Isaiah be fulfilled in them. Those redeemed by God will return. They will enter Zion with singing, and everlasting joy will crown their heads. Gladness and joy will overtake them, and sorrow and sighing will flee away. As it's also written in Isaiah, Zion will be redeemed through justice, and those among her who return through righteousness. And we all say, Amen. But I thought tonight I'd talk a little bit about the Z word. The Z word meaning Zionism. There's a word that people throw around a lot, usually these days in villainous ways, as an, as an aside. Not that 
I'm an expert, but I did, I wrote my, uh, my master's thesis on, on the history of Zion, or a, a history of a specific kind of Zionism. So I, I want to, maybe for those who don't know, to explain how I see Zionism. What is Zionism? And this is a bit of a preview for a class I'm planning to teach in December. But I'll ask you, when you hear the word Zionism, what does it mean? What do you think of? Okay, you think of Israel. Okay, good. Jewish homeland, Jewish state, okay, good. But where does it come from, this term, this idea, this ism? Right, so the word Zion in, or is an anglicized Hebrew, Hebrew word, Sion, which in the Bible, sometimes Sion means the city of Jerusalem. Sometimes it means a specific mountain in Jerusalem where the temple stood. Today, there's a, there's a hill in the old city called Mount Zion that the Crusaders named it that, but Mount Zion, Har Sion, was where the Temple Mount was. Sometimes it means the whole land of Israel in the Bible, Sion. But where does this ism come from? I have to give you a little bit of a history lesson. In the 19th century, the mid, after, after uh, Napoleon swept through Europe, the places he conquered, what did he do with the Jews? Liberated them, emancipated them was the word, right? Jews in Europe, in, in Central Europe, were not citizens. In fact, nobody was citizens. They were subjects of the king, but king or prince or whoever was in charge, wherever you were, but Jews were seen as a collective that the Jewish community was, auton was semi-autonomous. They had their own laws, but they had to pay as a community taxes to the king, and the king or the prince or whoever was in charge, what could they do? They could extort more taxes. They could every once in a while rile up the crowds to, to attack. They could kick them out if they wanted, right? But when Napoleon came through, he emancipated the Jews, which therefore Jews as individuals became citizens. Now, once Napoleon was pushed back, sometimes they lost their citizenship, sometimes they kept it, depends who was ruling. But by the late 19th century, Jews in Central Europe were citizens in their states that they lived, but not in uh, Eastern Europe, of course. Not in Eastern Europe, which became the Soviet Union, right? Okay. But did emancipation solve anti-Semitism? Obviously not. There were Jews who really saw that emancipation was a great thing. The reform movement, what became the reform movement, what became the conservative movement, what became the modern Orthodox movement came out of this, this time, this emancipation in Central Europe. They saw it as a great thing. Jews are entering into, regular, into greater society. We can go to, to universities. We can have different kinds of jobs. We could, even, we could work in the civil service. But it did not solve anti-Semitism, did it? There were thinkers who were uh, precursors, but I'm going to start with Theodore Herzl. In the 1890s, Theodore Herzl was a, 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 ju a journalist. He was from Budapest. He was a journalist working in, uh, for a Viennese newspaper, living in Paris. He was a well-known journal journalist, thought that he had made it in the world, right? Here was a, a Jew who mixed with you know, nice intellectual circles, who had money, who was cultured, who spoke German, who spoke French. He didn't speak Yiddish. He didn't know Hebrew, right? He thought Jews had made it in Europe. And yet, in the mid-1890s, there were anti-Semitic marches through Paris. Paris, the place where the revolution started, right? And so, Theodor Herzl had an idea of how to solve what was called at the time the Jewish problem. For Europeans, the Jewish problem was how do we make Jews how, what do we do with these Jews? For Jews, the Jewish problem was, what do we do with these Europeans? And so Herzl had an idea, which he wrote in a pamphlet called Der Judenstaat in, in German, sometimes translated as the Jewish state, sometimes translated as the state of the Jews, was to, was to what? Found a place where Jews can live away from 
people who hate us in a, as a collective. And when Jews live together as a collective building a society, they will be what? Respected by the world. Protected and respected. That was the idea of the Jewish state. So Theodor Herzl, who founded this movement called the Zionist movement, they had big conferences and they raised money and they bought land in the land of Israel. His idea was we, we start negotiating with the great powers of the world and they will give us a land somewhere. Now it wasn't clear if it would be an independent state or if it would be an autonomous place within, a, within an empire. But that's where the real movement started. There are different kinds of Zionisms that grew up around this. People, historians often call Herzl Zionism, called political Zionism, because they were trying to work through the great powers, talk to the Ottoman Empire, talk to the people in London, talk to the, the, the people in Vienna, talk to, right? To get, a, get everybody on our side. People who, who uh, first kind of rose up against this idea, not totally against the idea, but wanted to put a caveat or what sometimes were called the cultural Zionists, the, the spiritual Zionists, led by a man named Ahad Am. that was his pen name, means one of the people, saying we can't create a Jewish state until we revive new, create slash revive a Jewish culture. That's where the idea of bringing back Hebrew as a spoken language literature, art, scholarship. Okay. People in this school founded the Hebrew Uni University in Jerusalem. Right? We are singing songs, modern songs in Hebrew because of people like Achad Am, Yehuda, uh, Eliezer Ben Yehuda, um, Nachman Bialik. Right? And of course, Jews in Eastern Europe who are being influenced by socialism and communism and, and who are the most oppressed, needed the Jewish state the most, had ideas of labor Zionism, of socialist Zionism. We know people like David Ben-Gurion, who was the first prime minister. Most of these people, the Zionists, were secular. Right? They saw being a Jew in a new way in the new world in fact, most religious Jews were against Zionism, both re liberal religious Jews, reform, the reform movement in Germany and in America, and most Orthodox Jews were against Zionism for two different reasons. Reform Jews were against Zionism because they, they, wanted, they felt to solve the Jewish problem would be emancipation and becoming part of society. Not assimilation, acculturation is the word a sociologist would use, meaning you still hold on to your Jewish identity, but it changes with the culture, right? And most Orthodox Jews were against Zionism because in Jewish thought, you don't, it, there's, there's a way of interpreting part of the Talmud that say you don't go back en on ma, masse on to the land of Israel without the Messiah coming first, right? And there's still ultra-Orthodox Jews who very much feel that today. The reform movement changed its stance, no. But there were religious Jews who were Zionists, some of them for messianic reasons, some of them for practical reasons. So that's, that's a bit of the history. Take my class, you'll learn more. We'll read real documents, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. But these ideas are what we're stewing around leading up to 1948. These ideas are still found in different parties in, in the Israeli Knesset. I forgot to mention the, the revisionist Zionists who were maximalist when they came to land. They wanted a large Jewish state, and they were militant when it, they came to force to bring about that uh, Jewish state. That's where the Likud party of Bibi Netanyahu, that's the roots of his party, right? But the question is, we, there is the state of Israel. Why still use this word Zionism or this ism? What might Zionism mean today?
connect, what, do you, what do you mean can connections to the Jewish people? Okay. So Zionism means like feeling a connection to all Jews in the world, you're saying. Okay, good. A love, a love of the land of Israel, the love of the state of the, Okay, good. A belief that Jews have a good a belief that Jews have a right to determination self determination, so that therefore there are people who say that Jews don't have a right to self determination, then Zionism is still a, a good term to use. That's what you what you're you're saying? Very nice. But I will say one, one more thing. Each of the strands of Zionism had, it wasn't just about creating a Jewish state or a Jewish homeland, some were against states, some were, that's a different story, but it was for a certain purpose, whether it was to create a socialist utopia in a kibbu as the kibbutz movement felt, whether it was creating a culture that would spread enlightenment, right, spread Jewish life to the people in the diaspora, whether it was creating a state that could be an exemplar, exemplary state so that Jews would be a light to the nations, right? Zionism still has a, a reason to be, right? And Zionism could still evolve. Israel, so I'll say this, some, some Zionists believe that once Israel is just a state like every other state, it will protect the Jews. But I would say to be a Jew is not to be like everybody else. And therefore, Zionism is about creating a Jewish society in the state of Israel that is exemplary in some way. We could argue about in what way. And so... When someone tells you that Zionist means you're a colonialist, well, Zionism, Zionism was not colonialism in the classical sense because the people who came there had nowhere else to be. Right? And of course, there's been a, a presence of Jews in the land of Israel since biblical times. When people tell you that Zionism is fascism, you can say, well, there are left-wing Zionists. There are right-wing Zionists, there are liberal Zionists, there are socialist Zionists. Zionism today is about, I feel, I know, I want it to be about creating a certain kind of community in the land of Israel. A certain kind of community that also protects the rights of minorities. A certain kind of community that it's egalitarian, that a certain kind of community that is a light to the nations, that the prophets that gave inspiration to the Zionists as the Declaration of the Independence of Israel said, that they will follow the ethics of the prophets. Right? So friends, please learn with me about Zionism, about the, the roots of the state of Israel. And where use the Z word with pride. Shabbat shalom. So let us continue with our service on page 282. Please rise. La tête que dura l'yotse hebreshit, che lo asanu ke goye haratzot, ve lo samanu mishpachot ha'adama, che lo sam chelkenu kahem, ve gora lenu ke ho hamonam, ba nachnu korim, u mishtachavim, u modim, lifne melech, Malche Hamachim Hakadosh Baruch Let's pray on 287. May we gain wisdom in our lives, overflowing like a river with understanding. Love each of us for the peace we bring to others. May our deeds exceed our speech 
And may we never lift up our hand, but to conquer fear and doubt and despair. Rise up like the sun, O God, over all humanity. Cause light to go forth over the lands between the seas. And light up the universe with the joy of wholeness, of freedom, and of peace. Please be seated. Our thoughts turn to those who have departed from this earth, our loved ones, friends and neighbors, of course the martyrs of our people in Israel. As we remember them, we meditate on the meaning of love and loss, of life and death. If you are here to say Kaddish for a loved one, when you hear their name, please rise so that we uh, can support you. Think of the recent death of Malka Sultana Hobab. And we continue to be in the period of Shloshim, the first month of mourning for Herbert Rubin. And this week marks the art site, the anniversary of the death of May Aberman, Samuel Barnstone, Sam Kaplan, Harriet Dorf, Shirley Goldman, Norma Greenberg, Joseph Green, Daniel Hirsch, Charlotte Lubo, Helen Marks, Joseph Mazzarella, Rebecca Noss, Harold Oaken, Pearl Pollock, Eugene Schlesinger, Milton Schlosser, Alan Sedler, Eleanor Silverstein, Nina B. Simon, Morris Snow, Esther Spector, Andrea Strohmeyer, Eleanor Tamaris, Peter Tillis, Rachel S. Welt, and Lawrence Weiland. If you're, on, if you're online, you're thinking of someone, you're saying kind of for someone, you can put their name in, in the chat. If you have a name you'd like to say as I go around. As I've been reading the last few weeks, someone who died in the October 7th attack, Sigal Etach, was murdered at the Supernova Music Festival. Etach grew up in Beersheba in a family of Ethiopian immigrants. She was remembered by her friends and family for her beauty, her contagious laughter, her love to dance, and her devotion to her younger siblings whom she raised herself from age 19. Friend, her friend wrote, you could not fall in love with her. She was so smiley and positive, just a happy girl. My family, my friends, everyone loved you. I can't remember a time that I saw you sad, even when times were dark. My Seagal, there are no words to describe the pain. During one war I gained you, and the next war I lost you. May their memories be for blessing. The Mourner's Kaddish is on page 294. Please rise. Yitkadal v'yitkadash me rabba v'yamad divrach yute v'yamlich malchute v'chayochon v'yomechon v'chaye d'cho beit Yisrael v'agala v'izman kari v'imru. Amen. Yehe shme rabba mevarach le'olam o'ame amaya. Yitvarach, yishtabach, yitpa'ar, vitromam, vitnase, vitadar, vitale, vitalal, shame de kudisha, brichu, the ela min kober hata, vishirata, tush pahata, venechamata, damiran, bi alma, vi imru, amen. Yehe, shlama, rabba, min shamaya, vahayim, alenu, vi alko, Yisrael, vi imru, amen. Ose, shalom, bim romav, Amen. May the one who creates harmony on high bring peace to us, to all of Israel, to all of the world, to which we say, Amen. Amen.
After Kiddush and Motzi, please join us in the Rusty Social Hall. Um, but Kiddush is on page five. We'll call Emerson back up. But let's, here, Juliet, why don't you come up too? And come, all the kids come up, and I'm calling uh, Ami, my son, who's around here somewhere, to come on up for Kiddush. Wait, 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 wait. Shabbat shalom.